evening and thanks for joining us. She is a former Paralympian who has traveled extensively. But a Kelowna woman who uses a wheelchair says WestJet failed her this weekend. She says she had no choice but to pull herself up metal stairs to board the plane, an experience she calls humiliating. CTV Shannon Patterson leads us off tonight. Bumping herself backwards up these filthy airplane stairs in front of dozens of fellow passengers is not how Sarah Morris Probert wanted to end her holiday to Cabo San Lucas. It was humiliating, degrading, and it was gross. The former Paralympian and president of BC Adaptive Snow Sports had told WestJet she would be traveling with a wheelchair. When she arrived at the gate for her flight home to Kelowna on Saturday, she asked if there was a jet bridge to get to the plane. They said, no, it's a bus, but there's a lift. Okay, that's great. I mean, I've used Ambi lifts and things before. But when she got to the tarmac, she learned the lift they were referring to was two ground crew staff strapping her on a chair and carrying her up the steps to the plane. It's not safe practice to be carried up airline stairs. So I said, no. She pointed out a wheelchair ramp right there on the tarmac that could be pushed over to the airplane door. Nobody would deploy the ramp. So I said, okay, I will transfer it to the bottom step and I will lift myself up step by step. Fellow passengers told Morris Probert they were outraged she was forced to board this way. But I really want to emphasize the fact that there's a lot of people, wheelchair users, that could not do what I did. So then they would have had no option but to be put in an unsafe situation and be carried on board the plane. It's the third time in recent months an airline has failed BC passengers with disabilities. Rodney Hodgins had to drag himself down the aisle to get off his Air Canada flight. And elderly amputee Angela Taylor was abandoned at the gate by Flair Airlines, forced to walk to YVR Customs when a golf cart never came. It is horrifying. It's really unforgivable. It's, it's 2023. <laughs> Right. This shouldn't be happening. In a statement, WestJet is apologizing for not having a jet bridge available on the flight to Kelowna, but insists alternatives that were offered were safe, adding, after providing the two options that our staff are qualified and trained to provide, Ms. Morris Probert declined all assistance from the supervisor and customer service agents. I would like to know what the second option was. I was only given one option, which was to be strapped to an aisle chair and carried up the stairs. Now, that's not very dignified. It certainly is not safe. The ramp was right there. What was the problem with using the ramp? As a frequent traveler, she says all airlines need to do better for passengers with disabilities. I'd like it not to be anxiety provoking, spending a few hours worrying about it. How am I going to get off a flight? I shouldn't have to do that. Shannon Patterson, CTV News.